okay so in question number two we are having three projects now project a b c and these are the information which is available for each project and the minimum required rate of return is 10 percent for all these three projects so first part is pretty simple that you have to calculate the npv and irrr for each project you can simply use npv and then you can use this formula to get the values of project a b and c so very easy i'm not going to cover this part in this tutorial the sec the second part is regarding based on the npv and irr results decide which of the proposal should be accepted by p limited now this is accept reject situation accept reject decisions basically talks about the acceptance and rejections of project wise not in totality like you don't have to select any project you have to just determine whether a particular project is to be selected or not so by project a you can simply use an if condition what does it, that mean if npv of project a is more than or equals to zero at least that means at least it should make something in addition to what is actually going out in the form of cash so if it is positive or zero, we can accept it. Otherwise, we'll reject it. So it is a very simple condition. That is if condition. That is if NPV of project A is more than or equals to zero, then accept. Otherwise, reject. This is the normal condition. Similarly, for B also, you can select if value of B is more than or equals to zero then accept otherwise reject and similarly for c now you see that it is reject because it is negative value that is why it is showing as rejection now as per irr results in this you have to compare your value with the minimum required rate of return it should be more than or equals to the minimum required rate of return. So by looking at it, we know that project A is 15%, which is definitely more than 10%. So it should be selected. Similarly, project B should be selected, but project C should not be selected. So by formula, you can simply use an if condition. If this is more than or equals to minimum required rate of return, then accept otherwise reject and you can simply use control r now you will see it's showing as accept instead of rejection this is the reason because i am comparing it with a fixed rate of interest that is 10 percent and i forgot to put this uh, as a dollar sign so simply put a dollar sign and then do the control r it will show as reject simple now the third part if the projects are mutually exclusive and only one project is to be selected now this basically includes a condition of all these three projects like we have to select only one project out of these three so how can you go about it so first condition is if condition if so first is maximum of these three numbers should be at least positive should be at least positive sorry it should be if the maximum is less than zero it means every value is negative then we should have reject all we don't want to accept anything it should be reject all what if it is uh, the maximum value is positive then we have to put an if condition again if project a value is equals to the maximum of these three values then we want that project a should be selected a should be selected otherwise now project b and c are left so we again have to use the if condition if the value of project b is equals to the maximum of these three values then give me project b and if not then the last if all these three conditions are not satisfied then give me project c bracket close 
Now this bracket is closed. This is closed. To close these brackets. Enter. Now, simple. Project A is the actual maximum of these three projects. So project A should be selected. Now for IRR, simply you have to use the same uh, conditioning that if all these threes are less than minimum required rate of return, that is 10%, then reject all. Otherwise, if project A IRR is equal to the maximum of these three, then gives project A, otherwise gives project B, otherwise gives project C. So just you have to use if condition, if maximum, if, sorry, if maximum tab of this is less than this, then give me reject all. Otherwise, if IRR of project A is equal to the maximum of these values, then give me project A. Otherwise, if project B IRR is equal to the maximum of these three, then give me project B. Otherwise, give me project C. See, simple project B is to be selected because it has the highest IRRR. So based on NPV result, project A is to be selected and based on IRRR, project B is to be selected. Simple. Thank you.